Good morning, church. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion entitled, We Serve a Generous God. We Serve a Generous God. 2 Corinthians 9 and verse 8 says, And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. You know, God doesn't just love. He lavishes us with love. That's why He tells us in 1 John 3, 1, verse 1, He doesn't dole out wisdom for you and I. He just does just drop like that. He gives generously to all without finding faults in James chapter 1, verse 5. The prodigal son in the Bible got the fattest calf when he came back. The guest at the wedding in Cana got the best wine when the wine ran out. Peter caught so many fish that his boat started to sink. See, Paul tells us that God supplies the seed to the sower. And the Greek word for the word supply in 2 Corinthians 9 and verse 10 comes from two root words. The first means to dance, to dance. The second one means to lead. So it literally means lead to lead a dance. So when God gives you, he dances for joy. When God provided you, when God blessed you, when God take care of all your needs, and when you're blessed, he rejoices, he dances, rejoice in the presence of the Father. He strikes up, he strikes up the band and leads the giving parade. He loves to give. Do you know that God loves to give? God loves to bless. God loves to provide for all your needs. One day, the Bible tells us, Peter said to Jesus in Matthew 9, 27, We have left everything to follow you. What then will there be for us? You saw that? He said, we have left everything, Peter told Jesus, to follow you. What then will there be for us? In Matthew 9, 27, some, it, 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 it seems a good opportunity for Jesus to chastise or rebuke Peter's what's in it for me. He make the phrase, what's in it for me. Jesus, many times Jesus could have rebuked him or, 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 or chastised him. Uh, this kind of mentality that he has, what's in it for me. If I serve you, if I follow you, what is it I get out of it? But Jesus didn't. Instead, he assured Peter that we shall receive a hundredfold in this life and inherit eternal life too. Let's look at Matthew chapter 19, verse 29. It says, Anyone who has left houses and brothers or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or friends or fields for my sake will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. Jesus promises a gain of 10,000%. If someone gave you $10,000 today for every $100 you gave them yesterday, you might call that person God's God generous. God dispenses his goodness not with an eye dropper, but with fire hydrant, but with a not with a teacup of blessing but with the heaviest rainfall upon your life and my life. You simply can't contain it, so let it bubble over, spill out, pour out. Let's close by reading Matthew 10 and verse 8. It says, Freely you have received, freely give. What I said to you and I is this this morning, is that, we serve a generous God because He's so generous in providing and taking care of all our needs and protecting us and leading us and guiding us and taking care of all our family members. You know what? He has given to us so freely. He said to you and I, Hey, as your God is generous to you, so learn to be generous to His church, to His kingdom, and to one another. Amen? And God will bless you even more. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray that you strengthen, renew, and refresh every one of us. Bless your word to our hearts and help us to understand because we serve a generous God. So let's, well, let's learn to be generous 
to you, your kingdom, your church, and one another. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You have a great day and God bless you.